Welcome to Retirement Benefits Training for Employers. In this section, we will focus on the supplements aspect of the reporting process. For more information about supplements, see Chapter 3 of the Covered Employer Procedures Manual. PIBA's Member Account Services has representatives assigned to each employer to assist with questions on the processes of monthly deposits and quarterly payroll reports. Your Member Account Services representative is also available to help you with any service credit issues and contract length questions. Additionally, your representative can help with completing and submitting supplemental reports. If there is an error already posted to a member's service contribution, you might be able to correct it using the Supplemental Contribution Report or Form 1227. Follow the instructions on the form for how to complete it. Only one fiscal year of corrections can be made per form. You can upload Form 1227 through the Document Upload option in EES, and you must remit payment if due. To view prior year fiscal year employer rates, refer to Form 1340. Refer to the Supplemental Reports training resource for more information. For specific types of leave without pay, military and workers' compensation, the member might want to continue contributions. These situations should be reported via a Supplemental Service Report or Form 1224. The contributions will be based on the compensation the member would have earned if they were able to perform their job duties. To ensure their service stays current, the employer should submit the form and contributions monthly. You can upload Form 1224 through the Document Upload option in EES, and you must remit payment. Refer to the Supplemental Reports training resource for more information. This covers contributions made pursuant to furlough programs authorized under state law. To submit furlough contributions, the employer will remit both employer and employee contributions for the South Carolina Retirement System, or SCRS, the Police Officers Retirement System, or POORS, and the State Optional Retirement Program, or State ORP. Contributions are based on the salary immediately prior to the furlough period. Furlough contributions are not required for return-to-work retirees. You can submit a furlough supplement via Upload Supplement Data in EES.